can be boiled down to a single question. Who fights for you? Now we know whose side our President Joe Biden is on. He grew up in a middle class family in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and he has never forgotten where he came from. With, and I have been a first-hand witness. With every decision he makes in the Oval Office, he thinks about how it will impact working Americans. He understands. He understands everyday struggles because he has actually lived them. So friends, I say the contrast between Joe Biden and Donald Trump is like night and day. But with the selection of his running mate this week, Donald Trump is also trying to distract people. He wants to direct attention away from his record and his Project 2025 plan to suggest that he and his running mate are going to prioritize the middle class. But we are not buying it. We are not falling for the okie doke. As many of you know, I am a former prosecutor. So I say, let's look at the facts, shall we? So Donald Trump tries to claim he brought back American manufacturing. The fact is, under Donald Trump, America lost tens of thousands of manufacturing jobs. And more than 1,000 factories closed under his watch. The facts. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden and I have created nearly 800,000 new manufacturing jobs. Những cái rối loạn, thì thu loạn. Last night, we heard claims that Donald Trump is for fighting for our seniors. Well, how the heck can you claim you fight for seniors when you intend to cut Social Security and right Medicare? Here. Which we all know is a lifeline for so many of our seniors. Let me be very clear, President Joe Biden and I will always protect Social Security and we will always protect Medicare. Let's go! Let's get it, girl. Come on. All while we continue to fight to lower the cost of prescription drugs for our seniors, it is President Biden and I that took on Big Pharma and finally capped the cost of insulin for our seniors at $35 a month. Who here has a family member with diabetes to know what that means? Right. But Donald Trump and his running mate intend to get rid of our $35 cap on insulin. They will side with Big Pharma and let them make prescription drugs more expensive. Not only that, on the issue of health care, they intend to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. Donald Trump and his allies tried more than 60 times to end the Affordable Care Act. 60 times. To give insurance companies back the power to deny people with pre-existing conditions. Y'all remember what that was like? Children with asthma? Women who had survived breast cancer? Grandparents with diabetes? President Biden and I, on the other hand, have made the Affordable Care Act more strong. Because you see, we believe health care should be a right and not just a privilege of those who can afford it. up the split screen. Whereas the last administration gave tax cuts to billionaires, we gave tax cuts to families through the child tax credit, which cut child poverty in America by half. 
Let's go. And please do note their Project 2025 agenda would even end Head Start to take away preschool from hundreds of thousands of our children. On the issue of the cost of living, Donald Trump says he will implement a 10% tariff on all imported goods. Well, understand, independent economists agree his tariffs would increase the cost of everyday expenses for families, the cost of gas, groceries, and clothing. We, on the other hand, have taken on big pharma, the big banks, and big corporations to bring down costs. It is we who have canceled debt, including student loan debt. In fact, testify if you have received it. <laughs> Indeed. In fact, so far we have forgiven student loan debt for nearly 5 million Americans. 